Hello, in this video I'll show some simple simulations of materials in cellular automata. First, sand. This is very simple material, but we can add a simpler, fungus. I name a pink powder fungus because there is a material weird fungus in Veggie Game Noita. So this is the first what have come to my mind. Do you like fungus? Mushrooms, mycelium, that's all the fungi. Lichen is musk's fungus, what is plant's fungi? And that's exactly how it works. The sand falls and if there is already filled cell, it checks left, then right side to fit. Third one is a water or fluid. Its behavior is more complex, but still not much. Oops, some water is spilled. can add sand to water and sand will be displaced. This is how it works at slow motion. Water is like sand but also slides to left, then to right, if there is any obstacle. What if we will add a gas? Yes, it's not very similar to real gas, it's more like a slime. Hey, really, what if we add slime? It's like gas, but falls downwards. Both slime and gas working like sand, but has more range to fit neighbor place. Oops. Slime is almost same color as fungus. Also, we can define a solid, passive material. Note, that such model cannot, for example, do communicating vessels rules. If we take a look on a real simulators of different pixel materials, like the powder toy, we can notice, that simulation of fluids and other materials are way more complex, than. And let's take a look at mentioned the powder toy. This is a very cool simulator game. Also, it's free. 
see the difference. This was a long time after previous my launch. This simulator was one of my lovest in childhood. You can ignite and melt metal with some plasma. Or explode pile of plutonium. Very cool. Oh, there also an update since last time. Okay, that's all. Hope, I'll be able to make a more meaningful video next time. Don't forget to subscribe and set like if you want more content.